Hello students. In this series of videos, we're going to now show you or start to show you how to solve equations called quadratic equations. So if you look down here, on the left hand side of the equal sign is a quadratic expression, negative x squared plus 5x plus 6. And we're trying to find out for what values of x does that expression equal negative 2. And it turns out there's a number of ways to solve equations like this. And the one that we're going to start with is solving them graphically. So if you happen to have the graph of the equation, um, sometimes this is the easiest way to solve the equations. So here's our quadratic relationship up here, or quadratic function. y equals x squared take 4x. There's its graph. And we're trying to find out the solution to the quadratic equation, x squared take 4x equals 0. Now, that is the same as that. So what we're really saying is we're trying to find out when the y-coordinate equals 0. Well, the y-coordinate is 0 anywhere along the x-axis, so one place where the function has a value of 0, or has a y-coordinate of 0, is there, and the other one's there. So therefore, we have two solutions. The first solution is x equals 0, and the second solution is at x equals 4. OK, this one we'll check to make sure that that, in fact, is correct. So I'm going to substitute into this expression, x squared take 4x, when x is 0, and I get 0 squared minus 4 times 0. Using the dot for multiply, well, that's 0 minus 0. So that one checks. And the other thing we substitute is 4. So we say, let's see if that's true. So we get 4 squared take 4 times 0. Whoops, what have I done there? Nope, I made, made, a, made a mistake. That's what I've done there. Let me undo that. That's x squared minus 4 times 4, since I'm su substituting 4 for x. And that gives us 16, subtract 16, and that's also 0. So those are the two solutions to that quadratic equation. OK, let's do a few more just to cement the idea. So here's the equation of the graph. y equals negative x squared plus 5x plus 6. There's the graph of the equation. And I want to use this graph to solve the quadratic equation. Negative x squared plus 5x takes 6 equals 0. Well, once again, what we've done is we've replaced the y-coordinate with a 0. So where on this graph are the points with a y-coordinate equal to 0? Oops. Well, one of them is there. And the other one's there. So when y is 0, the x-coordinates are 2 and 3. So therefore, our two solutions to this quadratic equation are x equals 2 or x equals 3. What about this next equation? Well, we're trying to find out where this uh, graph, where this expression has a value of negative 2. Well, again, we're talking about where is the y-coordinate equal to negative 2. Well, there's y is negative 2, so that's one point. And that's a second point just there. So y equals negative 2 when x equals 1 or when x equals 4. So that again has two solutions, x equals 1 or x equals 4. OK, what about the third equation? In fact, you uh, have a go at the last two on your own. So stop the video 
And once you think you've worked out the solutions to the last two questions, finding their solutions, I'll start the video and check your answers. Okay, welcome back students. Okay, so now we're trying to find out for what values of x is this expression equal to negative 3? Or another way of thinking about it, um, for what values of x um, is the y coordinate equal to negative 3? Well, let's go ahead and there's y equals negative 3. So there's one solution. And there's a second solution. Just, oops, just there. So it turns out we don't have exact values for x this time. So we have to approximate that. So it looks like the answer is x is approximately 0 0.7. That's that solution. Or x is approximately, whoops, I've got that in the wrong place. x is approximately, x is approximately 4.3. And the last one, we're trying to find out for what values of x is the function equal to 1. Well, we're talking about along this line up here. And as you can see, the graph of the function doesn't reach 1. So what this illustrates is for some quadratic equations, you have no solution. Okay, so one way to solve quadratic equations, and uh, in many cases, it's the best way to do it. And certainly, in many cases, it's the fastest way to do it is to solve it graphically. And in the next video, we're going to start to show you how to solve quadratic equations using algebra.